We have seen the Pokemon Darkrai in the anime. Now, let's dig deep into this dark type monster to know about its origin, its signature move, and its fascinating secrets. Stay tuned till the end of the video to be shocked by some of the most interesting facts of this nightmare monster. Darkrai is a Dark-type mythical Pokémon introduced in Generation 4. It does not evolve from or into any other Pokémon. It is a member of the lunar duo with Cresselia. The name Darkrai is a combination of the English word dark and the Japanese word kurai which also means dark. Darkrai is a black, shadow-like Pokémon. It has a small head with a white fog-like ghostly plume billowing from its head covering one of its bright blue eyes, with the portion on its face resembling hair. It also has a red spiky growth around its neck. It has skinny arms and long black tatters hanging from its shoulders. It also has black, claw-like hands. It has the slight appearance of an Herglis figure and appears to be wearing an old, ripped cloak. It normally does not have any sort of legs, but it is able to extend stilt-like appendages in their place. Darkrai is known to inhabit dreams and causes the target to have unending nightmares, which can be stopped if exposed to a lunar feather from Cresselia. However, the unleashing of nightmares is actually a defense mechanism instead of an intentionally malicious act. It can become a shadow and escape danger or the contact with humans. It is also capable of some human speech. Darkrai does not only cause nightmares, it is also attracted to them. It can also go around objects it is attracted to, and it is said to be active during nights of the new moon. Darkrai possibly feeds off dreams, characterized by its association with never-ending nightmares. Darkrai's appearance and abilities suggest it is based on the concept of nightmares or a mare. A mare is a malicious entity in Germanic and Slavic folklore that rides on people's chests while they sleep, bringing on nightmares. The shadowy resemblance of Darkrai may also have been inspired by the bogeyman. Morpheus and Phobiter are Greek gods associated with sleep and dreams. In Ovid's Metamorphoses, Phobiter who is also called as the Frightener by men, is one of the thousand sons of Somnus he appeared in dreams in the form of a beast, or a bird, or a long serpent. Whereas Morpheus appeared in dreams in human form. From the medieval period, their names began to stand more generally for the god of dreams, or of sleep. It might also be based on the Niknitsa from Slavic folklore. The Niknitsa is an evil spirit that torments children with horrible nightmares, slowly draining them of their life energy with each passing night. The Niknitsa is also present in Russian and Slovak folklore. She is known to torment children at night. A stone with a hole in the center is said to be a protection from the Niknitsa. Mothers in some regions will place a knife in their children's cradles or draw a circle around the cradles with a knife for protection. This is possibly based on the belief that supernatural beings cannot touch iron. This is similar to how victims of Darkrai's nightmares can only be woken up with the lunar feather. Dark Void is the signature move of Darkrai. It is the only known Pokémon to learn this move. During this move, Darkrai drags the opponent into a world of total darkness that makes them sleep. The sleeping Pokémon cannot move even an inch when affected, except to snore. Pokémon with insomnia may escape from this attack to a certain extent. Thanks a lot for watching the video. What is your favorite thing about Darkrai? Please do let us know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe to my channel.